Hello, hello, hello. And today I will just quickly go over how you can use curves to animate either objects or other curves to make just some parts of animations easier. For example, if you want an object to follow a specific path or you want an object to have like a smooth path, for example, you have vines that you need to animate or you want an object to to wrap around something, you can of course hand an animate that with um, an armature and then just try to eyeball it there so that all keyframes look similar and it doesn't look weird. But for some of these things, just animating alongside a curve is easier. Okay, well, what do we need for it? We need an object that we want to animate around that curve. For me, I'm going to be using this beautiful part of a tree that I just stole from the internal blender um, tree gener generator. Let me quickly also turn on for you the screencast keys. And yes, okay, first of all, well, what we need to talk about, this will be the curve that we, we will be using for our object to wrap around. Obviously, because it's a deformation, the object will, this will be based off how our object is subdivided. We now are using a curve for this, so we don't really have any resolution issues with that. But if you, for example, will be using a cylinder or an actual mesh, for example this, this obviously won't wrap well around this because it's just lacking subdivided things, so you probably would need to put a more a, a few more subdivisions into here for the, for it to look good. Okay, well, how do we actually animate a object going up around a curve? For first, we're gonna need a modifier, and this will be a curve modifier. So we just put a curve modifier, and we'll also just convert this to a mesh so that we have so that you have all modifiers here, and I'm not gonna confuse you confuse you with anything, so I'm just going to put here a curve modifier. So I'm going to just quickly close the edge here so it doesn't look weird. And yeah, okay, now we need the deformation axis. In most cases, this will be the x-axis. There are very few um, cases where you don't need X here. There are some cases where you may use Z, but usually it's either X or Y. Okay, so let's just select our curve, and you can see it already wraps around pretty nicely. If it doesn't um, look as good in your case, you may need to adjust, like it maybe looks like this, or it could look like this. Then you would need to rearrange your object so that it fits the start point of the curve. Um, basically because this curve is now trying to put the geometry around it and if your, ge um, if your geometry is somewhere else entirely, for example, I can just quickly show that. For example, if we put this over here and then we would just select this, you can see it looks kind of weird, right? So yeah, um, always check that your start point aligns with where your curve starts and because we are we are wrapping around the x-axis the x point needs to be the same on both objects okay and let's select this again and and it wraps around okay but how do we animate this well um if you can see this i am now moving the object on the x-axis and you can see it goes up and down the curve we can use this to place our keyframes so now I'm just going to put this down here, just going to insert a keyframe here, and then I'm going to activate auto keying. I'm going to go to like, I don't know, frame 80, and then I'm just going to change this value to something like this, and then change my end value here to 80. Okay, so we can go in our camera, and now our object follows this path beautifully. Obviously, you can now do certain stuff with it, like I showed in an earlier tutorial when we had the um, shaky cam animation. You can use this, what you did here, and basically just put a, put a noise over it, which is helpful for some animations. We can see if it looks any decent here. 
for us it would be the X animation that is changing. I don't want the dope sheet. I want the uh, graph editor. Here you can see that our X value is changing, so we can just go to modifier, put a noise over it, put the scale down, the scale up to like an 18 probably. Let's see how this looks. That's probably a bit too big. Go to, go to, go to down to a 10. Yeah, it looks way better. And yeah, and now you have a pretty cool animation which is based on your curve. The upside of of this is if you changed your curve, the animation will also change in in respondence to that. So you are basically whatever you do with this curve, the animation will follow. Uh, it doesn't because you have keyframed the object and not the curve itself. So this is all non-destructive. So basically you can change whatever you want here. For example, I can uh, just do something like this and you see the animation follows that. Obviously like this doesn't look good, but you can, you could do that if you, if you desire that. So yeah, this was just a very, very quick tutorial from me on the sidelines. I hope I could help some people and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.